I believe that all love begins with a dream. I think every person has in his mind, in his heart, the image of the one he loves. It is made up of memories, thoughts, ideals. And then one day, someone appears. Every great love is a dream come true. Now, when God became man, or when he willed it, on the very creation of the world, he had a dream about a mother. He thought of her long, long before she was born. She was the dream come true, the world's first love. Just suppose you could have made your own mother. Would you not have made her the most beautiful, kind, God could make his own mother. God could make his own mother in somewhat the same way that artists can create. So, Almighty God, who pre-existed his own mother, made her just as beautiful as God could. That is why she was immaculately conceived. Now, what does immaculate conception mean? It means simply that she was conceived without the stain of original sin. And was not this fitting? If you have a distinguished visitor announced at your home, you will not sweep the front hall? Well, if God is going to enter this world, do you not think that he should come into portals that were rather clean? Look at all the trouble that God went to to make a paradise for man. Well, here's a new paradise. Not the paradise of creation, the paradise of the incarnation. And should he not, therefore, make this garden much more beautiful? Should it not be a garden in which there would not grow a single weed of sin? And this paradise of the incarnation, to be gardenered by the Adam new, was our blessed God took upon himself in this cloister garden a new nature. We have not made Mary important. It is our Lord that made her important.